The Buffalo Bills offseason continues. And I want to make a quick video here about the offense and some of the changes that have been on the offense. There's been some new players come in on defense as well. And I'll make a separate video about that. But for today, I wanted to do one on the offense. So the Bills have had three new players come in. And we're going to concentrate a little bit on the new players coming in. M Mac Hollins, wide receiver. I think he's really re replacing Trent Sherfield and is going to give us more on special teams as well. Um, I think he'll be more like a Jake Kumaro type of wide receiver with the team and looking forward to seeing what he brings. With Saran Neal leaving, we need a guy that can make tackles out there um, as well. So um, welcome to the team, Mac Hollins. And then we've also got Curtis Samuel, wide receiver. Now, a lot of people are comparing Curtis Samuel to Gabriel Davis because you're trying to make him wide receiver number two. And I think it doesn't really matter what number you give to wide receivers. I think with the gadget things that he gives and being able to come out of the running back, out of the backfield, give some screen plays and things like that, I think he's more of a replacement for Hardy and that we'll still look for a wide receiver in the draft to replace Davis if you want to go down that chart. But again, I don't care who's one, two, or three at wide receiver. But uh, Samuel, a great addition to the team and fills some holes that we needed to fill. And the last guy is Will Clapp, offensive lineman coming over from the Chargers beyond his funny name. Um, he is going to be replacing, in my opinion, Rick Bates. Or you're going to call him Ryan Bates if you're going to get whatever. But um, Ryan went on to the Chicago Bears. And it was a great backup to be able to fill in any position. Center, guard, or tackle. And you need that in the, uh, in the um, NFL. You don't have seasons much like we had this year where a lot of guys don't get injured. And you need a good backup that can play any position along there. And Will Clapp can do that. So, um, although I don't like losing Rick Bates, I do think that Will Clapp can come in and replace him. So, have the Bills gotten better on offense yet? Or are they still a, a step back, maybe? I think they're still a step back. And it's mostly because of the loss of Mitch Morris, in my opinion, at center. I mean, Gabe Davis is a great, a, a great player for our team, but um, Mitch just brought so much along that offensive line with his leadership and his skill and his ability to pull at center. And I know that now they're talking about moving Connor McGovern over from guard to center, but he played really well at guard last year. And once you start moving people around, does the puzzle get all messed up or changed? The line looked really good last year. I, I'd like to add... Um, a center to the team maybe it's going to have to be in the draft but I worried about McGovern moving over to center just because he played so well at guard and you just move him to center then we're going to have to put Henderson in a guard and you know um, we'll see what happens from there but I do think that there's still a lot of work to be done on the offense if we can get a good wide receiver uh, a good offensive lineman to make that line fit well again um, maybe a good backup right tackle. We have a good left tackle in Vandermark to, to back up um, Dion, but we need someone on the right side. And when Vandermark tries to move over to the right side, it doesn't work as well. So, um, and then we need a third running back. I'd like to have some of a, a bruiser running back, a bigger running back, maybe a guy that can also play on special teams with that new um, kickoff rule. I think you need a, a guy that can block really well out there that's bigger for um, the special teams. So anyway, with that, we always say, go Bills. And remember, God loves you and so do I.